Welcome in to another edition of Inside IU Volleyball. I'm Sean Nash alongside Coach Sherry Dunbar-Cruzan. And once again, another weekend, another three wins for the Hoosiers, this time in the Indiana Invitational. Uh, the team is 6-0 now, first time since 2010 that the team has started off this well. Sixth time in program history, 6-0. Uh, but some crazy conditions uh, this weekend, Coach, yeah. if you want to uh, divulge on that a little bit. <laughs> I, I was just I was just telling you I'm not sure anybody wants to come back to our tournament. <laughs> you know it was it was a rarity honestly. You know University Gym is is great. We'll be moving out of there in a couple of years and just met with the architects and looked at the final design of the new facility, which is unbelievable. Um, and we do have air conditioning at University Gym, but when it's packed um, and anywhere you would go, it was 93 degrees outside. The humidity was extremely high. The dew point, all those things, it was kind of like the perfect storm. Um, and it was, it was extremely hot in there. So we had to suspend play a little bit. We had to do some different things. It was kind of like a slip and slide on the floor. So kind of fun, you know, <laughs> diving for a ball, you just keep going. So. Um, but I was proud of the kids, you know, and then on Saturday we had a little power outage and, and finally moved the event to Assembly Hall, a historic Assembly Hall, which our kids were totally pumped about, you know, and we had a great fan base for all three matches. I said if we would have had that fan base, our 12 or our 7 o'clock matches at Assembly Hall, U Gym would have been standing room only. So I was really excited about um, the loyal supporters that kind of, stayed flexible throughout the weekend and just followed us and kept coming and cheering for us. I mean, that was fantastic. But more importantly, I was happy with our players that they handled those conditions very well. We talked about kind of going back to the old adage of, you know, controlling the controllables. You know, that's nothing we can control right now, but you can control. Somebody's going to win these matches, and we've got to make sure it's us. So we have to do what we need to do. So I don't think it was the prettiest volleyball we played. Um, and that's okay. We found a way to win, and, and in the end, we're going to be able to look back on those situations later in the season and, and find some really good learning experiences from it. Uh, Morgan Leach this weekend was named the uh, most outstanding player of the tournament. Taylor Lebo, Jasmine McDonald also named to the all-tournament team. Uh, but can you talk about Morgan's performance, mm -hmm. uh, 40 kills throughout the weekend, and uh, what she's done as the lone senior leader for this team so far? Well, I think... The most important thing is that I was proud of her for being consistent over two weekends. Um, I think she's been playing good volleyball since preseason started. And I think we're putting her in, you know, Megan's doing a very good job of putting her in very good uh, situations to score. She's getting a lot of split blocks. We're running a faster offense for her, and I think that's giving her more opportunities. Um, so, you know, the offensive side, she's doing a, a very good job. Um, still working on, you know, even just situations with blocking and things like that. We want to improve that as these next couple of weeks before Big Ten start. Um, her defense, even in the front row, off blocker defense, those type of things uh, she's still improving on. But just the maturity of the consistent play, which we've been a little up and down as a team on throughout the years, to see uh, one person kind of stay consistent over that period of time has, has been very valuable for our program right now. Uh, the craziness didn't end on the floor. The uh, last two points uh, <laughs> against Mississippi State to clinch the 3-0 weekend, uh, Jessica Leash entered the uh, game for the first time. Can you just, I didn't actually realize what was going on until you were talking about it after the game. Uh, I saw the entire bench laughing. Do you want to explain that uh, situation? Well, I think, you know, the fun thing about being a coach is kind of some of those things that happen. You know, first of all, the opportunity to watch a kid get their first kill or make their first entrance into a collegiate game is something you always remember. Those kids will remember that the rest of their life. You know, I mean, it's the first chance to play, you know, really step on the court in Indiana uniform or, or whatever school you're at. I mean, that's just a really memorable thing. And Jess is just a really quality kid, very bright, you know, direct admit to the school of business, but very funny personality, very engaged and, and just very competitive. Once just is really engaged in getting better right now. And so, you know, you're always, you're happy for those kids when they get a chance. So I, I don't know. I think we were at 22 um, in, that, in that last set against Mississippi State, and I wanted to get her in just to get her a little bit of action, get that first feel, because you just never know how that's going to go. So I talked to her afterwards, and I yelled her name, of course, and she said it was like a movie. You know, she heard her name. She didn't really know what was going on. The kids were yelling her name, so she thought somebody needed water. You know, so she's like, well, who needs water? Who needs water? You know, so she's looking around. So it starts off that way. 
Then she comes running up to replace Amelia. She's got Kit Kat bars, little snack Kit Kat bars stuck in her uniform because they keep them for timeouts, you know, I mean, for energy, things like that. You know, our nutritionist has little things that they give them, but why she would have them in her uniform, I have no idea. You know, that's something I'll have to ask a freshman. I don't know how that all works. Um, so she's throwing them out, you know, on, you know, next to the bench. She still has one in her hand. She realizes she's passing it off to Amelia as she comes onto the court. She's physically shaking on the court, you know, for her first appearance. And then she gets, you know, one kill and then the last kill of match point, you know, she drills down the line and she's crying after the match. You know, I mean, it's just a, a slew of emotions that you watch somebody like her, you know, as a freshman go through and she'll never live it down. <laughs> um, but it was, it was great just to be able to get her in the match and, and she is, she's improving dramatically in practice and she's putting in a lot of time and, and effort into doing that to help the program. And, you know, what I like about her too is when she's not playing, she's constantly coaching and helping and doing whatever she can to help the team that's on the court. And so um, it was just a real thrill as a coach to watch her be able to do that. Well, you can't ask for a better start for Jessica for a career. Two kills to end yeah. her first thousand, match that she plays thousand, in. You know, she might as well stop right there. <laughs> food that I can constantly eat probably every day is pizza. <laughs> um, yeah, any kind of pizza really I like and I'm probably gonna get some tonight actually so. My favorite food is steak and I love it with fettuccine alfredo which is a weird combination but it's really good. My favorite food would have to be burgers and fries. I'm just a simple girl. Um, I mean, who doesn't like burgers and fries? There's nothing bad about it. <laughs> and back here on Inside IU Volleyball Coach, I'll pose the same question to you. What is your favorite food? Um, anything, and the girls would tell you this, and my family and all my friends that know me, I'm obsessed with Mexican food. So any Mexican restaurant, I don't care if it's bad Mexican, from Taco Bell, which I love Taco Bell, all the way to the best expensive Mexican. I'm, I'm no connoisseur of it, I just really love it. So bean burritos I'll have three or four times a week. Black beans, much better for you than we fried beans. And now looking <laughs> forward to the matches this week, the UIC Invitational, mm -hmm. just one match day this week. Uh, you'll face UIC who's currently two and four in Eastern Kentucky, six and two. Uh, how does preparation change during the week when you only have one match day compared to having two or even three uh, looking forward to next week? Well, it, it helps us a little bit just because the tournaments are obviously long tournaments and everything, but we do play, you know, two back-to-back -back matches that day. Uh, you know, we had a situation, this happens a lot, uh, we were committed to a tournament that fell apart and we had owed this team because they had come to one of our tournaments and so we just lock into that. Well, last minute their, their tournament falls apart because somebody drops out and so then we're kind of left, you know, hanging out to dry and so UIC was um, gracious enough to allow us to come into a tournament that was already full and just kind of accommodate us and at least get us two matches, which is why we picked up IUPUI next week so we could get those three matches in. Um, so it's not the perfect scenario for us of a tournament that we want to be in, but it's going to work and um, we're only playing those two matches, so we've got to go hard for one day, you know, and then we're, we're honestly going to give the kids a couple of days off over the weekend just to try to revamp and everything because in a couple of weeks start Big Ten play. And what kind of matches are you expecting out of UIC in Eastern Kentucky? Yeah, I mean, um, we're breaking down, Shane's already broken down all the film, so we'll start watching that today, but just looking over stats and everything, pretty good defensive teams, good, uh, they, they recruit, you know, Eastern Kentucky recruits a lot out of the Kiva Volleyball Club, which are great volleyball players. They're not going to be huge teams, but they're going to be really good ball control teams, so I think we're going to have to be ready for some long rallies. Um, defensively, you know, really pick up our game and, and make sure we're ready to go and, and try to use our physicality, you know, and, and our speed that we want to do um, to try to, to, to help us out. And that's going to do it for us here for Inside IU Volleyball. For Coach Sherry Dunbar-Cruzan, I'm Sean Nash. 
Be sure to tune in next week as we'll review the Hoosiers' performance in the UIC Invitational and preview a four-match week that the Hoosiers will be facing.